my name is Quinn Hout. I am in my senior year at the University of Oregon as a dual major in French and International Studies with a minor in English Literature and I come from Portland, Oregon. I studied abroad uh, through IE3 in Lyon, France. Lyon is a large city in the central east of France and through the program I did immersive language for the first uh, term where I just kind of focused on grammar, speaking, listening, writing every single day and then the second term I enrolled in Sciences Po, the political science university and then Université Lyon 2 which is just a normal university and I did those to study literature, translation and then political science specifically in regards to the European Union. My favorite memory abroad is kind of small, but near the end of my year abroad there, I invited a bunch of other people from the program to come to the house where I lived. And it was a house I shared with my five roommates from all around the world um, for a potluck dinner, and we each made food, and we cooked, we drank a lot of wine, and we sat up on the terrace. It was like 80 degrees out. It was the evening. We lit candles. We had fairy lights on, and it was just an evening where we reflected on France, we chatted, it was a point where we all comfortable and we just spoke English and French in turns and it was kind of like made me realize the friends I made, the experiences I had, like all in one really fantastic evening. The thing I was most worried about when leaving was kind of what my place would be when I came back. I think that's really common is that a lot of people have like a fear of missing out and a fear of what will happen when they leave. And so um, right before I left, I remember I'd gotten like the perfect job, I was really happy with the friends I had, everything was kind of like very well in place. I think a lot of people feel that way after the end of sophomore term, You like sophomore year, you know exactly what you're doing at U of O, you kind of have school and life more figured out, and I just left in the middle of that. And so I was like really nervous that like when I came back, um, my friends would have made new friends or had different experiences and I really wouldn't like know how to readjust. Um, but it was really all fine. I talked to my friends like probably even more than I did when I was in the US. What I mainly realized is that even though I'm missing experiences they have, they're also missing the experiences I have while I was in France. And so it was like kind of dual FOMO, which kind of canceled it out a little bit. One of the things I wish I had known better at least before studying abroad is the metric system and military time. It is one of the things that like came up every single day and it was one of the things you don't really focus a lot. So my first few months was really difficult when someone would ask me to meet them at like 1600. I'd be like, I have no idea. Let me think for two hours before I finally figure out if I am indeed free. So just that one, that one lesson, like you don't think about that when you're learning a different language. You're like, oh, like it's a language, not like a system of like math, but it's all part of the culture. <laughs> the thing I would say to someone who's thinking about studying abroad but doesn't know if it's worth it is that the answer will not be unilateral. Whether it's worth studying abroad uh, really reflects um, you as a person, um, what you want to study, what you are studying, um, your life in the US, and kind of your values. Academically, it is easier for people in certain programs, such as French and International Studies, the programs I am in, to study abroad than it would be for others. And um, although I encourage everyone to study abroad, you do have to be realistic about it. You have to ask yourself, is it worth me studying abroad if it's at the risk of other things that are also important to me? The thing I learned the most abroad was definitely about myself. Although I did learn a lot about the French language and culture, it was mainly a lesson about how I could be independent and how I could push boundaries. Um, there's a lot more, I guess, free-spirited thinking when you're abroad because, um, especially in Europe, you can go to another country incredibly easily. Um, I remember my brother and I took a day trip to Switzerland, like left at 6 a.m., got back at 10 p.m., and I was in a completely different country and we just did that almost without thinking. Things seemed more possible even if like the location was just as prohibitive as it would be in, say, Eugene, um, because um, study abroad is about trying new things and I wanted to try new things. I'm Quinn, I'm an IPA and I'd love for you to stop by and talk to me or any of my coworkers.